ZMA is a patented proprietary blend of vitamins B6, magnesium, and zinc. Taking the recommended three capsules a day provides the following amounts of each ingredient. 10.5 milligrams of vitamin B6, 450 milligrams of magnesium, and 30 milligrams of zinc. And the company also tells us the forms of the minerals it's providing as well. Magnesium is a combination of magnesium spartate and the magnesium oxide, and zinc is a combination of zinc oxide, zinc aspartate, and zinc methionine. Why are they doing this well to increase the absorption of both zinc and magnesium. These are known as chelated minerals. They're chelating or clawing or combining together a mineral and say an amino acid to enhance the absorption. And as you can see, the supplement is also high in vitamin B6, zinc, and magnesium by looking at the daily values next to each of these nutrients and remembering that when you see 20% or more next to a nutrient, it means it's high. And conversely, when you see 5% or less, it means it's low in that nutrient. This tells us that ZMA is providing megadoses of vitamin B6, magnesium, and zinc. Many weightlifters take ZMA supplements to raise testosterone and boost muscle strength, but is there any proof? Researchers have pointed out that deficiencies in both magnesium and zinc may reduce testosterone and IGF-1 production, which is all well and good, but what about ZMA supplements itself? Can ZMA raise testosterone levels? Effects of a novel zinc-magnesium formulation on hormones and strength. This is a study that likely got weightlifters interested in ZMA supplements. 27 varsity football players were given either ZMA supplements or placebo each day for eight weeks and instructed not to take any other supplements during the investigation. So what happened? The results were impressive. ZMA supplements significantly raised total testosterone and free testosterone levels and insulin-like growth factor one levels. In contrast, these anabolic hormone levels actually went down in the placebo takers. And even better than that, those taking ZMA supplements appear to become stronger as well. Now, for those wondering, the company that makes ZMA supplements supported this investigation with a grant, but the study appears to be well done, and I personally like it when companies support good research on their products. But our story does not end here. In this investigation, 14 healthy men who worked out regularly between two and a half and 10 hours a week and had normal to high zinc levels were recruited. They were given either a placebo or ZMA supplements and the study lasted 56 days. So what happened here? Well, no surprise, the ZMA supplements raised zinc levels significantly, and that makes sense because the supplement contains a good amount of zinc. But what about testosterone levels? Did ZMA raise testosterone levels in these people? No. ZMA did not raise total testosterone levels or free testosterone levels either. One interesting finding from this investigation, however, is that ZMA supplements were noted to raise the pH of the urine. In other words, make the urine more alkaline. And in addition to that, the amount of urine that was produced by these people almost doubled. Comment below if you've noticed any change in urination after taking ZMA supplements, because so far this appears to be the only study reporting this result. And then we have this study. Effects of zinc magnesium aspartate ZMA supplementations on training adaptations and markers of anabolism and catabolism. 42 resistance trained men were put on an eight week strength training program and given either a placebo or ZMA supplements. Let's point out that these guys had at least one year of regular participation in weightlifting, so these were not novices. And while that is a good thing, one problem with this study, however, is that even though they say ZMA in the title of the investigation, they did not study ZMA supplements per se, but rather a different supplement altogether called ZMAS which while having similar amounts of nutrients like vitamin B6 and magnesium and zinc, this supplement also contained other ingredients as well, such as L-DOPA and velvet bean. So this is not exactly an apples to apples comparison, but regardless, 
what happened in this study? Well, the Z-Mass ZMA supplement did not raise testosterone levels, and it also didn't improve strength or endurance any more than weightlifting alone. To paraphrase the researchers, the supplement did not raise IGF-1 levels or total testosterone levels or free testosterone or growth hormone levels, and it didn't lower cortisol levels either. So here is a summary of the three investigations just presented. The first study published in 2000 is the standout investigation showing that ZMA supplements raise anabolic hormone levels and improve muscle strength as well. The 2004 study, however, showed no such changes, but I'm inclined to throw this investigation out because it was not a pure ZMA study and the supplement used contained other ingredients which in theory may have interfered with the results. That said, the study published in 2009 also showed no effects from ZMA on testosterone levels. This leaves us so far with one investigation finding ZMA supplements work and another study showing it does not work. So based on the research so far, I don't think there's enough evidence either way to say if ZMA supplements raise testosterone or not. That said, if you wanna try ZMA for yourself, my suggestion would be to first get your testosterone levels measured, then try ZMA for a month or two, and then test your hormone levels again. That is the only way to know if ZMA is working for you. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.